Hello everyone, in this video I would like to explain how upside and downside capture ratios are calculated. Uh, in order to do that, we need to understand how to calculate CAGR from a set of monthly returns. Uh, suppose I have a set of uh, 12 monthly returns, 2.07%, 2.03%, uh, 3%, 0.99% and so on. I can calculate the annual return corresponding to this sequence of monthly returns in the following way. I write 1 plus CAGR, which is the annual return in this instance. So 1 plus CAGR is equal to 1 plus uh, return in month 1 into 1 plus return in month 2 uh, and uh, similarly uh, multiplied. So you have 12 such terms multiplied one after the other. So uh, that equation is turned around to calculate the CAGR which is 26.24%. So if I have uh, a monthly return of 2.07% in January, 2.03% in February, 3% in March and so on, the annual return for those uh, set of monthly returns is 26.24%. Now this idea will be used to calculate the upside and downside capture ratios as shown below. Now uh, suppose that's the set of monthly returns. So I've used some random dates to calculate the monthly return of the fund and the index. I first ask what were the months in which the index returns were greater than zero and then I ask when the index returns were greater than zero, what was the fund returns? So I have this uh, specific uh, data here and then I go on to calculate the CAGR of those positive index returns first. That is 26.24% which is the example I just showed you. The uh, CAGR of the positive index returns is 26.24% and the CAGR of the fund returns when the index returns were greater than zero is 5.9 percent. So uh, the so we are now cherry picking uh, returns when the index were greater than zero and corresponding fund returns when the index returns were greater than zero. And that tells you that CAGR, that particular CAGR is 26.24 percent for the index and 5.9 percent of the fund which means that the fund has captured only about 22% of the uh, index's positive uh, returns. So 5.9 by 26.24 is 22.48. So the fund has only captured 22% of the positive returns of the index. So that's called the upside capture ratio. Similarly, you can now imagine how the downside would be calculated. Similarly, we ask when the index returns were less than zero, we then ask uh, what were the fund returns when the index returns were less than zero. We then go on to calculate the corresponding CAGRs. So when the index returns were negative, that resulted in a CAGR of minus 8.94% for the index and the corresponding CAGR of the fund is minus 1.23%. So when the index gave negative returns corresponding to minus 8% CAGR, the fund only gave a return of minus 1%, which is pretty good, which means that the fund only captured 13.76% of the index's losses, which is very uh, good. So the, a very low in downside capture is, is pretty good. Uh, the upside capture in this case is not so great, but you cannot have everything. So uh, between upside capture and downside capture, I would prefer uh, the fund to fall lower than the index and, and uh, a consistent downside capture will result in alpha. So in this case you can see that the fund has captured 13.76% of the index's losses but it, but it has only captured 22.48% of the uh, index's positive returns but that doesn't uh, matter too much. So that's how uh, upside and downside capture ratios are calculated. Catch you in another video.